Hi guys, it's Anissa. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do something a little bit different than what I usually do on this channel. This is a get ready with me, kind of catching up with me where I've been moving out at 18, living on my own. Before my last two videos, I was gone for like a month. If you're interested to see where I've been, what I've been doing, then keep on watching. There is a completely new background. Let me know what you guys think of it. I really love the way that it turned out. If you want to know where I've been, what I've been up to, some crazy stories because I attract chaos. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Hello. I felt like I really owed you guys an explanation for kind of just like falling off the face of the earth for a month. You can post a written post on YouTube and I really thought about doing that but then I was like what I have to say I feel like you guys deserve more than just like a little hey sorry I've been gone blah blah blah. The past two videos that you guys have seen have been pre-filmed. Those are at my old house and I'm kind of glad that I got those pre-filmed because there was just no way that I would have been able to film them with my moving. Those videos guys were done two months ago at this point, but I kind of just felt like the best way to explain where I've been is to start from the beginning. The last time you guys saw me, I was getting ready to graduate all within the same week. I finished my last week of high school and then I finished my CNA class and I passed my test and I started my new job. I still have my job. I love it, but it's definitely very different right now. A lot of places are mandating that healthcare workers get the vaccine and that's kind of a really big thing right now. I have mine. My old job made me get it. I really didn't want to make this video all about COVID because I feel like you guys have heard enough of that for me. Although, you know, you know, healthcare is what I do for a living. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to kind of touch base on that quickly because it does have a big effect on me right now because I will possibly have to switch jobs if enough of my coworkers don't get it. Then we'll be forced to shut down our facility because I mean, we can't operate with half the staff we have with a full building. Anyway, so I started my job that week and then I also had my last week of school and I graduated. Show you guys what I wore to graduation, a few graduation photos. I actually got my hair curled, straightened, whatever. And that was really different because I really don't do that in the summertime because it's just so hot and it usually never lasts for long. I'm really not gonna be talking about the products I'm using. I'll link everything down in the description box. Sorry guys, I felt like I was really far away. So I zoomed in a little bit. I don't know what made me think that I was even gonna have time to post on YouTube during the past month because probably the most important month yet in my life. I'm just gonna do a really simple eye look today because I don't wanna spend a million years on my eyes. After graduation, I got ready for my open house. I graduated on a Friday, I had my open house on a Sunday. It was a very eventful weekend, but it turned out to be a success. I got to see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a really long time. It did rain for a little bit, so that was a little bit frustrating, but I was like, you know what? I can't even let this upset me right now. I had a really good family friend pass away the morning of my open house. It was a very emotion-filled weekend. We had Olive Garden, and I'll kind of explain to you guys the setup of my open house. I didn't take any videos or anything. My dad has always been really big on pictures and videos and stuff like that, so I have videos of myself when I was like two or three years old, which, you know, I tell everybody, pictures are one thing, but to be able to see like a moving figure that was you 15 years ago is really, really weird. 40 hours worth the footage combined like of all my family. I took the clips of mainly myself and I compiled them all together into a video. So that played at the open house and that was probably the thing that I was the most proud of because I really got to use my editing skills. I had all my boards and stuff set up on a table. I graduated the fourth and then my open house was on the sixth. And really life kind of didn't stay stagnant. I was still really busy working. I picked up a lot of shifts. And then the 21st, I moved out of my home. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and then be right back because I can't talk into my eyeliner at the same time. I tried to keep the eye look really simple because I found that when I do like chit chat videos, I say everything I have to say on my eyes because I take so much time like blending and adding color that when I get to the rest of my face, I have nothing else to talk about. On the 20th of June, that was the day before I moved out. So in the morning time, we went and got the U-Haul. I felt like the easiest thing to do would be to pack the U-Haul up the day before. That way on the day of, all I'd have to do is drive it to the apartment and unload it, which actually seemed to work really, really well. Also the day before we loaded up the U-Haul, which I'll put a picture of in here, and then my mattress came, and then we went to Ikea. I planned on getting most of my furniture from Ikea because I love Ikea furniture. I honestly didn't see a whole bunch that I really loved. I actually ended up getting like a lot of my kitchenware from there. I tried to make it to where everything could be done within like two to three days. After we went to Ikea, and then we went
went to home goods a lot of really really good stuff i got a lot of decorative stuff i actually ended up getting more at home goods than i did ikea which was really shocking me and my mom went to a, a couple little places and keep in mind this was father's day and luckily my dad really loves ikea we used to go to ikea for fun so it was kind of like a win-win because we got to do something with him for father's day when we got back in town we went to ollie's if you guys have ever heard of them it's a discount store they have a lot of really good name brand stuff for a really good price like i got a lot of my dishwashing detergent my febreze plugs that i have in every single room i got those for like three bucks i got more kitchenware i got a crock pot from there my curtains came from there which i really don't like my curtains this is the second bedroom in my apartment i only have the curtains hanging up in this room I'm really not the biggest fan of them so i think i'm just gonna end up only putting curtains in this room sunday was pretty much just like a shopping day and then monday morning definitely did not go the way that we originally planned somewhere on that timeline that i gave you for sunday we lost the key to the u-haul i wish i was kidding so i'm like u-haul must have a spare key right so i call u-haul and i tell them i'm like yeah we lost our key can i come pick up a spare and the guy was like oh we don't have spares what I was like, um, excuse me? He was like, yeah, you're gonna have to call a locksmith, but if you can try to find the key because locksmiths are really expensive. Okay, well, that's like the most obvious thing that you can say. Well, obviously I would wanna try to find the key that way I don't have to call the locksmith. Well, we can't find the key. And we honestly were like, okay, it's gonna be a waste of our time to sit here and look through all of these boxes. The U-Haul is already loaded up. So we ended up calling a locksmith. I tried to kind of coordinate everything, like I said, to where everybody could come at the same time. That was at about, 8 8 30 well i had set up to where at&t could come to my new apartment for the wi-fi at night i completely forgot i was freaking out so i started driving over there the guy called me on the way my mom went at my parents house for the locksmith to come and then i decided to just come over here get the keys sign the lease and when you move into a new apartment they will do a walkthrough with you. So basically what you do is just look for anything that's wrong. Anything that isn't noted, you'll get charged for. I'm on the way and the guy's calling me like, hey, we're here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like I lost the key to my U-Haul. I'm on my way. I meet him up at the front office and I'm meeting with the leasing lady comes, which you know what? I'm gonna go into great detail with her in a second because I have the most awful leasing lady. She quit, so she's not here anymore. So we're walking over cause there's about five buildings where I live. So she's walking over to the unit and the guy is going over the address that I gave him. And I was like, yes, that's correct. And she was like, uh, no, that's not your address. And I was like, well, that's what you told me my address was. So keep in mind at this point, I went to the post office the week before to get a change of address. I'm on my renter's insurance. I put the address that she gave me. at and I gave them that address, Duke Energy, everything. So I'm like, okay, great. Just one more thing I have to go do now. We end up getting that fixed. They end up installing the Wi-Fi. The locksmith ends up coming and we get a new key. And it actually was kind of cool because I was able to keep the key to the U-Haul I keep a little memory box which I don't know if that's anything I've ever told you guys like it has like my first pair of shoes my first phone stuff me and my boyfriend have done together I had a lot of stuff but the great thing was that since this was the first apartment that I was in most of it hadn't been built so all of it was really just like boxes of stuff that needed to be built luckily my best friend and her boyfriend came and helped and then my brother was here and my mom was here my dad had some meeting it really only took us an hour to unload the u-haul and get everything in here I'm still kind of figuring out if i like being on the first floor or not because my apartment actually faces the parking lot there's a big window right here next to me and there's just like people walking by which is definitely a lot different let me tell you guys about this leasing lady when i first toured this apartment one of the reasons that i ended up picking this one was because where i live this is one of the only apartment complexes that has a locked unit meaning you have to have a specific key to even access all the apartment when people deliver pizza like i have to go out to the front door which is fine but it makes me feel safer because it's like nobody's gonna be you know coming to my front door that doesn't already have a key here people could always hop through my window but my hairdresser lives here and she said that it was really quiet especially during the night time and i told her the thing that i was the most nervous about was in the morning i work so early that it's kind of still dark outside um, and i told her i was worried about walking outside by myself and she was like oh no you don't have to worry about that the reason i ended up getting the two bedroom instead of the one bedroom was because i knew i was going to be spending a lot of time here and i didn't really want to feel super confined i don't like to stay 
in the same room all day. It drives me nuts. I will wake up in the morning. I do not lay in my bed during the day. I will stay mostly in the living room or I'll come in here and hang out. And also I have enough room in here to where I have another desk that is behind all this setup that is gonna be for school. For me, something that I've found that is really important for my mental health is having the separation in the areas of my life. I keep going off on this tangent. I'm trying to tell you guys about this leasing lady. She was just being so like degrading. She was like, so are you sure that you want a two bedroom? And I was like, yes, I want a two bedroom. And she was like, and you're living on your own? And I was like, yes, I'm living on my own. She was like, and you're 18. You've never lived anywhere by yourself. And I was like, no, I am a very self-sufficient person. Ooh, I don't like that. She's touring us around the property. We finally go to tour a model unit. When I walk in, it's a one bedroom. And I was like, um, I don't want a one bedroom. Like, is there any way that you can show me a two bedroom? Luckily, I've been in these apartments before because my best friend's dad used to live here and he lived in the exact same unit setup that I did. His was just flip-flopped. So she was like, oh no, like I don't have any open uh, two bedrooms that I can show you. And I was like, okay, well that's what I wanted to see, but whatever, you know, I still got the idea of the amenities and I don't like what's happening on my forehead. I'm about to wipe it off. I'm a very particular person. Like I like to have my dad center Row. I like to know what's happening with what. I would call her all the time and be like, hey, I just want to make sure like I'm getting all my paperwork done on my end. And she was like, oh yeah, like you have everything that you need to have. Another reason that I chose these apartments was because she offered me a free month of rent. My lease is for 13 months, but a month of it is free. It was the week before I was supposed to move. So I came up here that way I could give her a copy of my renter's insurance. I was like, yeah, I'll see you on the 21st because that's the day that I moved in here. She was like, what are you talking about? I was like, what do you mean what am I talking about? Like, I'll see you on the 21st. And she was like, oh no, like I don't have you moving until the 28th. And I was like, okay, well that's wrong because my parents were going out of town that weekend of the 28th. And then the weekend after that was 4th of July. I was like, I really don't want to be moving by myself and I don't want to be moving on 4th of July weekend. So I was telling her that, I was like, no, I would have never agreed to that. And I told her exactly what I just told you guys. And she was like, oh no, no, no. I never put you down for that. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever. That's when I need to move. She was like, oh no, we can't do that. And I was like, uh, why? Guys, I just need to wipe off my forehead makeup. Well, we're not gonna be able to do that because your unit isn't gonna be ready. And I was like, why wouldn't it be ready? Which she did tell me this, that the person that lived in here before actually broke their lease and they were out at the beginning of June. Cause she kept trying to talk me into moving at the beginning of June. And I was like, no, I don't wanna do that because I'm not gonna be graduated. I still have to do my open house and everything like that. And she was just like, just kept on trying to get me to move earlier. And I was like, no, I can't. Long story short, she got me moved in. She was like, we don't have enough paint to do all the units right now because of COVID, I guess, and you know, everything is short, which doesn't surprise me. I said, that's fine. They can paint as long as I'm here, but I need to get my stuff moved in because my parents are going out of town. And she was like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, that's fine. With her, it was one thing after another. The day that I moved in here was actually her last day at this job. I think she was either getting fired or she just quit. But if it was my guess, I think she was just getting fired and then decided to quit. She told me that she was gonna give me June free because I was only gonna be there for like a week. And then she was gonna give me July for free, which is this month. My rent is due on the fourth of every month. She had me sign some special paper saying that I agreed to a month of rent for free. I go into my app today to make sure that everything is okay. And it said that I owed money for this month. So now I'm trying to get that sorted out. Remember I told you guys, she gave me the wrong address. So I had to call all of my utility people, my Wi-Fi people, to make sure that my service was getting sent to the right address. I call AT&T and I tell them the situation. Well, remember I told you the Wi-Fi people were with me the day that she told me the wrong address. So they already knew that, but I guess they didn't change it in the system for whatever reason. I called them and I was like, yeah, I'm not moving. I just need to change the service address. The service is still coming from here. It's just under the wrong address. And so they changed it. Well, that, that same night I got an email saying that new equipment was on the way. Okay, well that's kind of weird. A couple of days go by and I come home from work and my Wi-Fi is just not working. Well, I call them and they tell me that my service was shut off. And I was like, well, I don't understand why it was shut off because they thought I was moving. And I was like, no, I told the guy I wasn't moving. I just told him I needed to change the address because it wasn't right. And they're like, oh yeah, he put that in there 
but it still got shut off. We'll have it back on by 8 p.m. tonight. So I was like, okay, cool, great. So I take a nap after work. I actually ended up sleeping until like nine o'clock. So I was like, oh, yay, like my Wi-Fi is gonna be on. I go to check my Wi-Fi still not on. So I call and they had me on the phone for another hour and a half. The guy on the phone this time tried to manually do it over the phone with me and it just wasn't working. So he was like, well, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to have somebody come out there. The next day, the guy comes, gets it fixed and pretty much what he tells me is that when he goes upstairs, everybody's Wi-Fi, it's all on one big panel. He was like, it looks like somebody pulled it out of the wall. So not only did AT&T shut it off, but somebody in this building unplugged it and put theirs there instead. And he said the guy that did it the first time didn't even have it set up the right way. So I was just like, okay, even if AT&T didn't shut it off through their system, it still wouldn't have worked because somebody unplugged it. That's kind of like the technical side of it. I'm thinking about doing an apartment tour for you guys because I'm not even kidding, I am OCD. I'm more OCD than I actually knew when living at my parents' house. I had a whole truckload full of stuff to unpack. I had it unpacked within two days. I can't live in mess. I can't live in clutter because I literally cannot function if that's what my surroundings look like. I moved on a Monday. My sofa came on Wednesday. It's a L-shaped couch and then it has like what they call a piano piece on the end. So it's like L-shaped, right? They had this piece sitting here. It didn't look like a sectional. It just looked like one couch. They had such a hard time fitting it into the front door because I kind of have like an entryway and it makes it really hard for big things to kind of fit and be turned. It's definitely different living alone. I'm used to the noise of other family members. I used to always complain about people yelling, but it's not so much that I miss it. It's just different. I still get to see my parents every day. I actually really like it. I really haven't cried about missing home just because home is literally like three miles away, but I did cry the first morning. So I was like, I just don't know if I'm ready for this and you know, kind of like doubting myself. And then I had to realize like, I'm so self-sufficient and independent. It's made me grateful that my parents did help me to be so self-sufficient when I was younger. I'm telling you, I think that's like one of the only things that's keeping me sane. Cause if I didn't know how to do laundry and wash dishes and clean, I would definitely be freaking out more than I am. That's kind of why I've been gone. I've kind of just been trying to get my ducks in a row and get myself all settled into my new place. In my mind, I was like, okay, I can have these videos pre-filmed and then like edit them as I'm trying to get everything together. And then I realized I was just trying to pull my attention into too many different places and it wasn't gonna happen. This is actually the first time I've done my makeup in this room. I haven't even worn makeup since my open house. Most importantly, I think I really just needed a mental reset for myself. I'm the type of person I go, 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 go until I can't go anymore, especially now that I'm on my own. I've found that it's very important for me to not do that because when I do get like that, it's like I can't do anything. In the near future, I would love to do like a day in the life or something like that because I think I pretty much have like gotten into my routine and I think why it's been so easy for me to get in my routine is because I just got everything settled very quickly. That's all I can think of right now. I won't be doing a shop my stash this month. I use these shop my stashes as a way to update you guys on my life. I feel like I kind of already did that today anyways. I already picked out the makeup that I'm using for this month. That's kind of what's been happening with me. Some really big life changes. I'm really excited to grow in this new space and make this place my home. Let me know if you guys would like to see an apartment tour. Let me know if you guys would like to see the day in my lives. I hope that this kind of gives you a perspective of where I've been. I haven't just been sitting on my couch and in my bedroom like sleeping for the past month. Not only do I make these videos for you guys, but I make them for myself because it's like, you know, a year from now, I can look back on this and be like, man, this is where I started, you know, moving into your first apartment. So, you know, people have those memories, but when you can document them along the way, I think it's definitely a lot more special. Lots of new exciting and fun videos coming your guys' way, so be prepared. Don't forget, I upload on this channel every four days. I'm back on my regular upload schedule. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post on this channel every four days, so you never have to miss me for too long. If you guys would like to kind of catch up with me on my journey and things that have been happening to me over the last couple months that led me to here, I do have a whole playlist of Shop My Stash videos. I'll leave all the products that I use down in the description box for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.